Have you ever been in a hotel room or maybe seen one in the media? Have you taken your time to ponder upon the layout of the furniture, their functions, historical reasoning and positioning? The bed is of course the essential part, but what else is there? Bedside tables, maybe a TV, and cuck chairs. Now, before you dismiss this as a simple joke of the present, a mere passing of the online zeitgeist, I invite you to ponder what is the true meaning of these additional furniture pieces. Why would the hotel spend extra money in a piece of sitting when most only need the bed for the night? Bedside tables? Sure. TVs? Yeah. But these rooms are fitted for two beds, but only one comfortable chair. Now you might think I'm just selecting a few pictures, but no, a majority of hotel room pictures display these types of sittings. The ones that don't probably don't reveal the chair from that angle in that room. See, this one isn't even hiding it. It's a whole cock arena. Most rooms would center the sofa group towards the TV. Not in hotel rooms. The main attraction of the hotel room is what is going on in the bed. And the first row ticket to the show is the cock chair. Some try to make sense of it, like this one. Oh, the guests are to lay softly by the window and ponder upon the outside fishbowl. But no. This one is even more perverse, as the cock is encouraged to be spied upon as they please themselves to the show of the evening. This is my second favorite, the cock nook. One eye on his wife getting mangled by Mendingo, the other eye on the bypasser snickering at the balding peewee furt, hastily pulling away on his Mars bar, and the hotel room seating we all subconsciously know what wheelie is for. This I call the fifth wheel. Your mind wouldn't even think twice of this chair five minutes ago. Now your mind is as twisted as mine, as woke as mine. Maybe some of them make sense, like this one. Two people might spend the night there, drink champagne as the table suggests. Two glasses, a sofa for two to get acquainted, a bed for two to get even more acquainted, and a chair for someone to watch. It makes even more sense. You knock on the hotel door room, and someone calls. You do. From the hallway, you can hear the slapping of skin, the moaning. In the distance, you see him sitting there, smiling. The seat is all yours. Would you like a coffee? His arms stretched through the chair. The cook assistant. This one might seem plausible, but... The chair to the right is too uncomfortably placed. No space for feet. A mere ruse. Decoy for the unknowing. But not for us. As I bid you farewell from my near magnum opus of this topic, I hope the next time you enter a hotel room and gander at the furniture, you will have a heartfelt giggle as you imagine what could be, can be, and truly is a hidden secret about our culture.